Hey, good morning, Coach. Good morning. Hey, with uh, with Xavier, give me like two or three. I'm sorry, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. With Xavier Johnson, um, what are the two or three key things that you look for for him to have a consistent, productive season at the level that he can? Just play like he did the last game was pretty good. I mean, there's going to be nights that he has big scoring nights, but I thought he did a good job in getting us in our sets, uh, defensively up the floor, pro applying pressure. Um, I think he had six assists the other night. So, you know, he's kind of sl he slowed down a little bit the other night and got guys in position where he can make plays and, and, and get guys the ball when they needed it, you know, but again, there's going to be nights where he might be the guy that has a hot night. Um, but I just need him to lead. That's, that's what uh point guards should do and um, make sure guys are doing what they supposed to do. Zach and Mike Schumann. I guess following up Mike on X, I know you said you're always tough run point guards. You've always sort of demanded a lot of him just for that position, but how have you seen him navigate preparing for this season when, you know, maybe there are fewer of those experienced voices around than they were a year ago. I know he's a captain. I know he probably had to go through his own personal journey of coming through the injury and, and, you know, sort of getting realigned to come back for a sixth year. Just how have you seen him approach, not just the, the idea of point guard, but the idea of captain of leader of, you know, sort of locker room presence ahead of this season. Well, there's no, no, no doubt he's grown. Um, you know, I think the injury had a lot to do with it because it humbles you when you get hurt and don't know what direction you're going to go and how quickly you can get back um, on the floor to play. It humbles you and, and it's it's an eye opener. And, um, you know, he basically hadn't really played since, you know, I think what was it, six, seven games in last season. So, um, you know, the fact that he put the work in to get back, you know, mentally, I think he's in a better place um, to lead. You know, I mean, that's why I made him the captain. Um, and, you know, having that title, it bears a lot of responsibilities. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, are you willing to accept it and, and, do all the necessary things on and off the court to help, you know, this team win. I mean, cause that's what it's all about. Mike and Jim Coyle. Yeah, coach in the exhibitions, we saw renew and where both make three pointers. How, how important is that to this team? Have you seen enough in the fall to expect that they can consistently do that? Only time will tell, you know, you, you know, you can't predict, you know, what teams, do you, you know, I, I coached a New York team that had all three-point shooters, and they were all great over their careers and knocking them down. So I knew what I was going to get. You have no idea what you're going to get yet. Only time will tell. Jim, then Tom Brew. Coach, uh, kind of following up on that, I was going to ask, what, what does it do to an offense when you have guys like kel Ware and Malik Renu who are bigs and usually playing in the paint area, but they can step out and hit the three and have to be respected to do that? What does that give your offense uh, as far as a variety? And, and what does it do to force defenses to adjust? Well, it's a bonus because, again, all the – the years that I coached in the pros, um, you know, Al Horford was the only guy that could step out and make up to about a 17, 18 foot shot. And as his career went along, he extended his shot to be able to consistently make threes when he shot them. Um, he's the only center that I've had. Uh, you know, I take back that Amari Stoudemire could step out and, and, and make it up to 18 to 20 feet. And, Beyond that, he, he just never really shot him. Uh, but he, he was never around long enough uh, and healthy enough to see it, see him in a, a full season. So um, this is new again for me uh, because these two guys can't, you know, stretch it to the three-point line. 
But again, I'm not one of those coaches that consistently want my bigs. You know, I mean, if they're open and got a good look, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not opposed to them taking that shot and knocking it down. Uh, but you know, bigs supposed to play inside too. You know, I mean, I don't want them thinking they they got to live on just shooting three point three point shots because that for me that's not the way the game should be played. Tom the Mason. Mike, you got a freshman point guard in Gabe Cobb. So have you seen enough of him uh, through the summer and through the exhibition games to, to know you can go ahead and trust him with some quality minutes as we get rolling here in some big games? There's no doubt he's going to play quality minutes. I mean, he's proven that. Uh, that's the reason why we recruited him. Um, you know, he just does all the little things that, you know, you're supposed to do. Now, he's going to have his ups and downs. Um based on matchups and things of that nature, but he's a tough competitor and sometimes toughness gets you through it. So I'm, I'm very pleased, you know, with his progress and, and hope that he just continues to grow and, and learn the college game because he's got a long way to go. Mason and Daniel. Mike kind of going off that theme, but really talking more about the entire second unit, how often do you see, your starters ramping up minutes and, and how big of a portion of the minutes do you still see your second unit getting as you get into more into the regular season? I just like the way we've been playing, you know, here of late, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of how I put it together and the second unit, they're going to play, you know, I mean, I, I feel good about our second unit, you know, but they're going to have to produce, you know, I'm not playing the guys that that's going to produce and play and, um, They've shown it and and earned my respect in terms of earning minutes, and they're gonna play. And they're playing well. They'll be in there a while. If they're not, then you know we have to juggle and try to find, you know, guys that are playing well together to help us win. I mean, that's that's what team is all about. Daniel and Zan. With all the fresh faces you had this year, I, I'm just wondering what you feel like you learned about your team um, against UND and then uh, last Friday as well. Well, I mean, again, I'm still learning. We got a long way to go, guys. I mean, we, that was just two exhibition games. Um, you learn more as the season go on. So it's, you know, my thing is uh, we've done a lot of good things in those two exhibition games. Um, based on all the things that we've thrown at these guys. And, you know, the fact that they picked up what what we've given them, you know, is promising. But again, only time will tell, man. We got a long way to go in terms of, you know, our schedule and, you know, the teams that we plan, you know, and it starts, you know, tomorrow night. I mean, Florida Gulf Coast is a good basketball team. So we got to come ready to compete and, and put in a 40-minute ball game. Zion and Alex Bozic. Mike, just, just following up on that, coming out of those exhibition games, what is something that you think really will have to improve as the actual regular season starts tomorrow? Well, again, our, you know, we're not really familiar yet with our defensive rotations on the backside of our defense. That's something that, you know, we got to get better. And then we got to rebound the ball better. I mean, that's, that's huge in a defensive possession. We we play a good defensive possession and then we don't we don't block out somebody ball watching and you know that guy comes in and keeps it, you know, the keep it alive for, you know, their team. So I we just gotta it's there are a number of things. We got offensively our execution in the half court game has got to improve. So I mean and we just gotta keep working at it, man, because that's that's the only way you can you can fix it is is practice and continue to work and get familiar with what we're trying to get done and and rehearse it over and over and over and over again until you get it right. Alex, last one. Coach, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Uh, I know Ja'Kai Newton was somebody that you were really excited about when you were able to sign him, and he's obviously had a tough go of things with the injury situation. How's he doing? How will – to be determined whether or not like kind of what the path forward is for him and and with a young guy like that going through an injury situation how do you keep him engaged in practice and keep his spirits high when he's obviously going through some tough times with the injury well early on he was struggling um 
because he was hurt and he just didn't feel like he was a part of it. But he's kind of grown past that now because it, he's starting to, to move around a little bit. Uh, you know, he ran a little bit on the uh, treadmill. Um, he's been able to come out and walk through. He hadn't done a whole lot of the walkthrough stuff, but, you know, the stretching and and uh, the warm-up stuff uh, prior to us actually getting going on the court, uh, you know, he's been a part of that. So, I mean, I think he's moving in the right direction. How quickly he comes back, you know, only time will tell. Um, and then we got to make a decision on what, you know, we're going to do with him. Uh, if Is he healthy enough to play – you know, when he comes back, if not, you know, you might have to think about red shirt and things of that nature. We hadn't even talked about that. But, you know, I mean, that's that's on the back burner if that may occur. So we just got to let nature take his course. He's got to continue to just work and rehab like he's been doing. Uh, because I, I bought him here just like Cup because I truly like his toughness and the things that he he can do on both ends of the floor. And we just haven't been able to get him out there to give him an opportunity to show it, showcase it. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good day.